Hey everybody! Welcome back to my channel, Matter of Crafts. I am with WoW Embossing Powder again today. As you can see, I am playing with some beautiful powders. Gonna be making a card today with you guys. And of course, I've got my chipboard panel. It is, um, I don't even know what you call that design. It's beautiful. That's all I can really say. <laughs> um, I am going to start by using the uh, WoW Embossing Pad for my adhesive. And then I am going, what I'm going to do with this is I wanted it to have a, a more of a textured look. So I first used the texture powder on the on the first layer and then before i heated it i before i set it i used the opaque pastel yellow on top of that so that chipboard panel are those two combined i really like the textured look that that it gives to the panel um so yeah it's i think it turned out beautifully um and now i'm using as you saw some paper, we're going with the floral background and using some darker embossing powders to alter these baby breath chipboard pieces. We're going to be using the um, black glint and the black puff powder. So those are the two that I'm using right now, as you see on the, on the background to give it a little more texture, give it a little more puffy. And then for the baby breasts, the actual little flowers, I am using the WOW, um, the, the, the Seth Apter Embossing Brush, just to brush on some of the adhesive to use the Seth Apter Weathered Gold on there. And as you can see, oh my gosh, isn't that so cool looking? So cool. I really, that's a really fun technique. I, it's the first time for me personally, and I thought it turned out fabulously. I really, really loved it. Um, so we're still going with like kind of the classic, classic farm theme with those flowers. And then gotta add my splatters, like we said in the last video. Here's my black splatters this time. We're going to be adding to the background to coincide with the black um, little florals that we just altered with the embossing powders. So I wanted everything to kind of coincide, but we've also got the bright colors from the flowers. I really like the, um, the contrast between the two. You've got the pretty yellow and pink you know flowers and then you've got that black and you know the distress on the edges and the splatters and everything it all it's just comes together quite beautifully and yeah i just i really really love how this embossing powder really creates these pieces i'm really really happy with them so now we're just laying down you know layer by layer with mixed media um it's it's a layer game you're all we're all we're all about layers 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 and layers so and now we're distressing the edges for one of those finishing little touches to give it a little bit more of a, a, a grungier look give it more of that farm look isn't that just beautiful i love it i absolutely just love 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 it Right, and it looks like now I'm going to be adding some of my metal pieces to the corners of them. Um, I like doing this because it kind of helps frame the piece and complete the piece, I guess you could say, um, for a couple of the corners to kind of be uh, finished. I don't know how to really explain that. <laughs> kind of give it a finished framed look. To finish it, uh, to complete it off, um, we're adding some sticker paper. Uh, quotes from Tim Holtz this time and I am curling those like I usually do with my nail just really gently and using my favorite adhesive to put those on and then that is the card that we created today Isn't that amazing ah I had no idea embossing powder could be so awesome wow <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial with me today and I look forward to seeing you next time and thank you wow for everything thank you for this opportunity bye guys